What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the space technician. And in this video, we are going to be exploring China's Tiangong Space Station. As the name translates from Chinese, Heavenly Palace, this orbital facility represents a revolution in space station design and capabilities for the 21st century. From its striking modern architecture that looks straight out of a sci-fi film, to the astonishingly fast one and a half year construction timeline, Tiangong is reinventing so many aspects of human spaceflight. We'll cover the origins of China's space program, the goals for the Tiangong station, what daily life is like on board, the cutting edge science being performed, and how China hopes to cooperate with international partners in the years ahead. There's a ton of ground to cover, but before we do, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for more space tech content and to explore the final frontier. All right, let's get to it. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. China officially kicked off their ambitious human space exploration goals in 1992 with the nationwide Project 921 initiative, also known as the China Manned Space Program. This long-term vision set out a methodical incremental strategy toward mastering crewed spaceflight across three major phases. Phase one established the fundamentals, sending Taikonauts into low Earth orbit aboard the newly developed Long March 2F rocket and Shenzhou crew capsule. Both the rocket and spacecraft designs incorporated lessons learned from Russia's extensive Soyuz program experience. After accomplishing orbital missions, Phase 2 focused on demonstrating in-space habitation and operations by launching two small prototype space labs, Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. Docking with these space stations tested automated maneuvers plus short-term life support capabilities. Fresh off the triumph of sending up their first Taikonaut, Yang Li Wei, in 2003 aboard Shenzhou-5, China was ready to take on ambitious Phase 2 goals launching small space laboratories to practice long-term orbital habitation. The objective was to master essential skills, having crewed and uncrewed spacecraft automatically rendezvous and dock for extended periods. As we'll discuss shortly, this expertise would enable assembling large modular stations later on. In 2011 and 2016, respectively, China launched the Tiangong-1 and upgraded Tiangong-2 test space labs. Each were around 10 meters long, still extremely cramped, but more volume than Shenzhou. Taikonaut crews successfully demonstrated manually and automatically docking these stations using China's own unified docking mechanism. Shenzhou-10 set an endurance record, attempting a full 30 days aboard Tiangong-1, and the Tiangong-2 saw the debut of China's Tianzhou robotic resupply craft testing autonomous orbital refueling critical for long-term habitation. The third and final phase, realizing Project 921's ultimate goal, was constructing a large modular space station for permanent occupation, launching critical elements like the Tianhe core module to establish today's Tiangong. After seeing consistent breakthroughs with practice space labs and orbital docking tests, China felt a high level of confidence it could finally achieve the long-term dream of a permanently crewed space station as first outlined under Project 921 back in 1992. This moment had been decades in the making. The results of this plan were now fully ready for the world stage. According to the China Manned Space Agency, the Tiangong Modular Space Station has five essential, technologically ambitious goals. Number one, develop and demonstrate automated and manual spacecraft rendezvous and docking capabilities to enable complex spacecraft assembly. Number two, conduct long duration endurance tests, analyzing physical and psychological impacts to Taikonauts staying for 180 plus days. Number three, Experiment with state-of-the-art regenerative life support systems towards self-sufficiency goals. Number four, practice regular autonomous cargo and fuel resupply using the Tianzhou spacecraft as a drone ferry to keep Tiangong continually operating. Number five, 
the most flashy, exciting goal. Establish a fully featured, permanently occupied science platform for space-based experiments and technology development, benefiting deep space exploration down the road. This bold vision reflects China's channeling a disappointing setback into inspiration. The United States enforced a ban restricting Chinese participation in the International Space Station collaboration starting around 2011. While this dashed hopes for dialogue and knowledge exchange, Chinese engineers simply doubled down on realizing their own pioneering station, Tiangong, was fully capable of achieving alone. The launch of Tianhe, which translates to Harmony of the Heavens, in April 2021, truly kicked off a remarkably swift construction process under two years to fully assemble Tiangong in orbit. As the core module, Tianhe establishes the foundation and backbone of the entire station. Beyond crew living quarters, it supplies high-level guidance, navigation, and orientation control, akin to a spacecraft brain coordinating movements using sensors like star trackers. Tianhe also provides the central powerhouse via two large solar panel wings, generating electricity. The Wentian and Mengtian labs launching in summer 2022 fulfill specialized roles, too. Wentian prioritizes life sciences research with a large plant growth chamber for biopsy samples and critical backup systems if Tianhe fails. The airlock allows convenient exiting to spacewalk. Mengtian focuses more on observing microgravity production processes with an exterior payload airlock to transfer experiments outside. It also features a smaller dexterous robot arm to move cargo and assist robots with maintenance. Both lab modules add extensive experiment racks and exterior attachment points for exposure payloads. This enables housing over 1,000 approved microgravity and cosmic radiation projects from 23 institutions across 17 countries in fields like exotic materials development to deep space radiation impact studies. In addition to the standard life support systems, crew quarters, and microgravity research racks, Tiangong has a number of uniquely advanced capabilities pushing space station design forward. For starters, Tiangong is the first station to feature four high-efficiency Hall Effect plasma thrusters. These ion engines provide precise attitude control and orbital maneuvering using beams of electrically charged atoms. The station's cutting-edge regenerative ECLSS life support testbed analyzes closed-loop water purification and oxygen generation to continuously recycle resources. Lessons learned aim to benefit deep space exploration vessels. Don't forget the first ever aerospace microwave oven for hot, tasty meals, too. Taikonaut reviews highlight favorites like shredded pork, Kung Pao chicken, and seasoned cabbage dishes. But the showstopper facilitating ambitious science is Tiangong's suite of five robotic arms. The large 10-meter Canadarm-style arm rides rails for positioning experiments, and a smaller dexterous arm on Mengtian can crawl around like a cosmic handyman. With this blend of power, brains, comforts, and manipulation flexibility, I think Tiangong has hugely raised the bar on multi-purpose orbital outpost capabilities. This space station truly is a palace in the heavens. Speaking of epic views, the massive solar panel wingspans make Tiangong look like it could fly away like a dragon. Having five robotic arms swinging around reminds me of Doc Ock, too. A spider station. Tiangong's construction occurred at an unprecedented pace, unrivaled except by early Soviet stations, revealing extremely diligent Chinese mission planning and precise execution. Let's quickly recap some standout milestones. The Tianhe core module launch in April 2021 laid vital foundations like guidance equipment, solar power, and initial life support. Shenzhou 12, three months later, delivered the first human occupants to validate functionality. Shenzhou 13 doubled down six months later by demonstrating cutting-edge new spacesuit designs on history-making spacewalks. This courage paved the way for routine external station maintenance. In summer 2022, 
the Wentian and Mengtian modules joined Tianhe within months, not years. Wentian provided expanded science capabilities and, crucially, an airlock for simpler spacesuit exits. And Mengtian delivered the capstone on October 2022, allowing over 1,000 approved experiments across fields, from materials research to cosmic ray astronomy. Its mascot, Dexterous Arm, also enables satellite release. This brisk construction tempo results from highly autonomous automated rendezvous and capture methods. We may see Tiangong grow further in coming years to eclipse Mir and approach vast dimensions of sci-fi constructs. The meaningful naming is indeed poetic too. Wentian means quest for the heavens, and Mengtian translates to dreaming of the heavens for the labs. This nod to adventurous imagination sets to match China's ambitious celestial aspirations. Life in orbit still holds mystique since few humans experience it firsthand. So, what's it like to actually live and work 250 miles up in this celestial palace? Well, the daily schedule follows a regimented routine, like military operations, to maximize productivity. Taikonauts awake before 7 a.m. Beijing time, enjoy customized meals like shredded pork kanji, then enter research shifts interspersed with health breaks, one consistent favorite across crews, that occasional floating tea time gazing at Earth. But the limited personal space within a module smaller than a tennis court keeps things humble. While the Tianhe sleeping pods afford some privacy, it definitely still takes discipline sharing tight public quarters with crewmates for six months straight. The gym helps alleviate stresses through physical exercise, also preserving bone density and muscle mass threatened by microgravity. Taikonauts have even completed small 5K runs circling through passageways. This taste of home mixed with spectacular views makes the cramped confines worthwhile. While not a leisurely sci-fi starship, Tiangong provides surprising comforts ensuring scientists stay energized, pursuing orbital research breakthroughs benefiting all humanity. That makes this snug celestial abode still feel like a palace in space. While mastering sustained habitation far above Earth is impressive enough, performing impactful science expands Tiangong's legacy tremendously. Currently, over 1,000 cutting-edge orbital experiments have approval across fields, from biomedicine to exotic materials development. Multiple experiment racks in the pressurized modules house delicate microgravity research like protein crystallization, impossible within gravity's constraints. External pallet sections reveal results from extended space exposure, checking satellite durability. Engineers also assess high-value polymer production for aerospace applications or tricky pharmaceutical reactions, benefiting global health. These commercial opportunities help underwrite station costs while accelerating innovation. And Tiangong's array of observational instruments, like the groundbreaking THZ Space Telescope to capture obscured far-infrared wavelengths, advances fundamental astronomy as well. By providing this unmatched microcosm, blending microgravity precision with expansive cosmic perspectives, China ushers in an exceptional era of progressive orbital research leadership aboard Tiangong. As ambitious as China's existing near-term Tiangong plans seem, engineers are already designing next-generation modules to dramatically expand capabilities later this decade. Goals call for augmented versions of the current Tianhe, Wentian, and Mengtian modules, potentially supplemented by an all-new core structure. This would boost the station's dimensions to rival the deactivated Mir station. Officials even floated visions of opening expanded airlocks or custom modules to commercial sponsors. Space tourism could follow, as private Chinese companies like XPACE and LinkSpace develop separate crewed spacecraft designs. And despite past political barriers that prohibited direct cooperation aboard the aging ISS, China is now welcoming potential international science partners across Europe and beyond to make use of Tiangong's unique space access. Early approved microgravity research projects 
represent universities across Canada, Germany, Italy, Japan, and beyond. Well, everyone, that wraps up our whirlwind tour of Tiangong and how China revolutionized the heavens. What aspect of their accomplishments so far or future plans excites you most? Personally, I truly think we are seeing history in the making that will influence orbital designs and research for decades. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this epic look at China's heavenly palace, smash that like button. Also, consider clicking subscribe and ringing the bell to join me for future deep dives into the most incredible feats of human space exploration. Thanks so much for watching. This is your space technician signing off for now. And I'll see you space cowboys in the next one.